Hello, in this video we'll find the equation of exponential function from the given transformation. Uh, so the graph of uh, y equal 2 to the x is shifted 3 unit left and 1 unit down. So now what, what would be the equation or the, the function uh, with this given uh, transformation? Uh, so if it is shifted 3 unit to the left, 3 unit to the left, uh, that means the we're going to subtract 3 from the exponent, like what we've seen in a previous uh, example. So it would be the new uh, function, let me call it, instead of y, I'll call it uh, uh, f of x. So the new function will be taking 2 to the x and then shifting it 3 units to the left. So 3 units to the left, meaning I'm going to add 3 at the exponent. And then one unit down, and then one unit down, I mean take the y and then subtract one from it. So this is the y, subtract one from it, and then we'll end up with uh, the new function f of x, 2 to the x plus 1 minus 1. Uh, the next example is uh, we have the function y equal 3 to the x is shifted 5 units to the right. So 5 units to the right, when we have shifting... Uh, to the right, we have to uh, subtract 5 from the exponent, from the x at the exponent, and then reflect it about the y-axis. So when you reflect something about the y-axis, so here is the y-axis, um, the x-axis here, so the y-axis, when you reflect something uh, about the y-axis, so any x basically become, you reflect it to the other side, it become negative x. So you take x and you make it a negative x. So the new function, I will call it g of x, give it a name. So we have 3, because it's reflecting to the y-axis, so it's a negative x, but also uh, subtracting 5 from it because of the shifting uh, 5 units to the right. So the new function becomes g of x equal 3 to the negative x minus 5. 3 to the negative x minus 5. So again, minus 5, this is the right unit. And uh, reflection about the y-axis, I mean x, uh, become negative x. We'll see two more examples here. So here we have the graph of y equal 3 to the x. is shifted 2 unit left. Okay, so to the left, make sure you add the 2 to the exponent. It's always opposite. And then reflect about the x-axis. So again, it is our x-axis, the y-axis. So when you reflect about the x-axis, that means whatever y you have, it becomes a negative y. Okay, so we have, I'll call it again, f of x, this new function. So we have, we started with 3 to the x, but because we're going to shift it to unit left, we must add 2. And then you reflect it about the y-axis. That means you add the negative to the y. Because whatever y become negative y. And so this is your function y become a negative. And uh, this last example I choose here, we have y equal 1 over 3 to the x. Or it could be 3 to the negative x. Is reflected, is stretched vertically by a factor of 2, then shifted 4 units up. So again, I'll call it u of x, our new function. So we have 1 third to the power of x, because it's going to stretch vertically. That means vertically it's going to stretch, going to get stretched. And that's because for every uh, y you have, it become twice 2y. So we multiply 2 up front by a factor of 2, and then shift it upward 4 units. That means you add to this uh, new function, move it up 4 units, and this becomes the new uh, function. And I hope this was helpful.